electricity didn't make Nikola Tesla sad. His pigeon wife made him sad. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Debate Me, the only show brave enough to ask the hard questions, yes or no. I'm Miranda. And I'm Jaden. And today's topic is going to be electricity. Miranda, yes or no, electricity? No. All right. I'm going to be pro-electricity. We're going to take it away. I'm going to say no to electricity because candlelight is a much more romantic replacement. The general vibe of society would be much improved. I have so many things to say, not the least of which is that candlelight is not the limits of electricity, nor the only way or reason you need light. But more than that, we have electronic candles. We own electronic candles. And they are significantly worse than actual candles. In what way? They're lies. They're not. They're, actu they're actual wax. But it's not actual flame. There's no possibility that you could burn down your 18th century beet farm. It's weird. It's a weird thing to want out of your light source. Have you never fantasized about retiring to a cozy cottage on a cliff where you just have a single candle that you carry around everywhere. But that's the thing, is that you can turn the electricity off and add a candle. Or if there's an intruder in your 18th century cottage, you can just flick on the light. Who knows if that will firmly deter the intruder. It's not going to deter the intruder, you just don't want to fight them in the dark. Or you train and the dark becomes your advantage. You, you merely ready? adopted the darkness. <laughs> I was born into it. Just be Batman. It's not that hard. I will also say no to electricity because it was a defining factor in the Industrial Revolution, which generally has led to the downturn in society. Yes and no. I would argue more you so- You don't get to, to say yes and no. It is yes or no. That's the whole point of the show. That's fair. I'm not debating electricity, yes or no. I'm debating what you've just said. Electricity didn't push the Industrial Revolution into full tilt. Coal did. Coal and the steam engine, neither of which are electricity. Arguably, all that electricity has done, which is technically a negative, is throw off our circadian rhythms as a society and enable the 24-hour world. Both of those things are awful. But you were beholden to the sun before. The sun, a mighty and beautiful benefactor. No, no, no. A vengeful god who burns my skin in particular. The light bulb is a false god. Do not worship her. The light bulb does not burn my skin. Get better skin. All right. All right. That's the... All right. Hear me out, though. There are so many other reasons that you would need other electronic light. We would not get the kind of light that we have without electricity. It was such a huge advancement in technology. I'm going to argue it almost single-handedly saved the theatrical industry. No, gas lamps were a huge problem in theaters. Theaters had an abnormally high chance to burn down. Think about how much more interesting your trip to the theater could be if the Phantom of the Opera accidentally got lit on fire. Or just, like, actually lit on fire. Spontaneity is what makes the, it interesting. The spontaneity of a chandelier rigged to fall in the exact same way every night. Also, counterpoint, electricity made Nikola Tesla sad. Electricity didn't make Nikola Tesla sad. His pigeon wife made him sad. And Thomas Edison being an absolute... That's the other thing. Electricity led to, like, the firm cementing of Thomas Edison as this, like patriarch of American ingenuity when really he was just a fat copyright bastard. That's true. And he did, you know, murder elephants with electricity. And that's Don't do that. That's arguably a point against electricity. I'm arguing for your side now. I'm, it's just happening. And that it, it's very easy to point out how generally dangerous electricity is. I mean, fun fact, fun fact, 
A 9 volt battery has enough power in it to just kill a person if you, like, introduce it straight to the bloodstream. Like Good if you, to know. If you, all right. If you nick yourself and, like, 9 volt to the blood. Deaf. Deaf. Get deaded. I will also say that I understand the advancements that electricity in particular has created for our society, but I think if we were to remove electricity from the equation, we would have come up with another suitable power source like steam. Well, steam isn't a power source. I mean, it kind of is. No, steam... This, this is an important distinction. Steam is a conversion of power. You're boiling water with a power source, a fuel, like, like coal. That's why you shovel coal into like a steam engine on a train. And that creates pressure, which moves an engine. That's very crude. I'm aware that engines are more complicated than that. What if we all just learned to breathe real hot? Breath powered everything. Breath powered toaster. <sighs> this is this is an extreme hypothetical. I'm really not feeling like I'm going to engage with the hypothetical fire slash frost breath because at that point your argument might as well be, you know, why not magic as an alternative to electricity? Why not? It, it would be cool. It would be cool if it were real and it's not. Prove it. I cannot prove a negative. Hear that, folks, I won? No, that's not... Wow, if you try to put this out there that you won because I can't prove a negative, that's going to bite you in the butt so hard. This is the climate change denial rhetoric. No, it's not, because I'm not denying climate change. I'm advocating for magic. I'm not denying climate change. I'm advocating magic. Stop politicizing our videos. <laughs> we should continue and increase all efforts to combat climate change. It is real and it should not be ignored. But also, wouldn't it be cool if there was magic? I'm not going to engage with this purely because you're building a world that doesn't exist. Yeah. And no, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You can't nirvana fallacy me away from the reality that we need electricity. I'd argue my fake utopia is more interesting than your bland reality any day of the week. I'm not saying it's less interesting or more interesting. I'm saying I'm not engaging with it because it isn't real or possible. Okay, then I just won this debate. No, that's not- Through that's... negligence. <laughs> no, no. You're not engaging with the question. You're not saying no electricity, you're saying yes magic. Do not mistake me, sir. I am simply saying in this logical formula, replace it with something else. Here, the you ludicrous can't replace notion it with magic. of magic. We can't of course replace not. It. Magic isn't real. It would be cool, but it's not. And the fact that you are completely blatantly ignoring the fact that I am arguing for the notion that without X, we would make Y your, because your you argument, don't like what I'm using as Y. Your argument is that if we didn't have electricity, we would make magic. That That's what you're saying right now. The fact that you are so literal is indicative of a complete lack of whimsy and imagination on your part. I don't need whimsy and imagination to debate yes or no electricity. It's a real thing. You need whimsy and imagination to have any joy in life. Forgive me if I like to enjoy arguing with you ceaselessly. Sometimes you gotta stir it up a little bit. Yes, electricity, because it has allowed us to significantly extend the human lifespan. Bad call overall, though. Mm-mm. Disagree. Quality of life has gone up. Indoor plumbing relies heavily on electricity. So does water filtration, as do defibrillators. Good job. The ancient Romans had aqueducts and plumbing. It's something yeah, we're capable of. Yeah, and they still threw of. their poop in the street. Well, that was a cultural thing. No, 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 you're not getting away with that one. You continue to say you're not getting away with that as if you're some, like, vengeful school child who's about to go tell <laughs> teacher on me. You're a narc, and I'm the cool kid out playing tetherball and coming up with new rules for fun games. You're the queen of pivot, and I'm just not going to let you do that. Because you keep saying the ones you like, you win, and the ones you don't like, we start new topics. Here's the thing, though. If I pivot enough, 
it'll be a full 360 degrees. I'll come back to where you want, and then you can tag me then. You just have to be patient. Uh, electricity can be gathered or, and stored by means that are significantly better for the environment in general. Again, I'm going to go back to um, the fact that we should get rid of electricity because without electricity, Teslas wouldn't work and then no one would have to listen to Elon Musk. Point for me. Fundamentally, computers are not electrical machines. They are algorithmic expressions of logic and logic predates electricity, at least our modern conception of electricity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're saying is that our modern technical world, which is uber dependent on the computer, which just happens to run on electricity, doesn't actually need electricity for the computer. Point. No, I'm sa- I, I am saying that you are not allowed to say that we wouldn't have computers slash uh, cars, etc. without electricity. Because that's not correct. We had cars before. We had locomotives. I'll say that. We had locomotives before we had electricity. So you can't say we wouldn't have cars. This is a null point. I'm not arguing against cars. I'm running, arguing against Teslas, which specifically run on electricity. Right. But you're, you're saying that we wouldn't have to listen to Elon Musk. And I guarantee you, if we didn't have electricity, we would still be doing it. But how much power would he have? Certainly I don't not enough to go to space. <laughs> we wouldn't we wouldn't measure it in watts. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that was a that was a firm draw. That point, just a very roundabout way of getting there. Here is ultimately what I will say: electricity in general might seem good, but since its beginning, there are multiple small casualties and inconveniences, which make one wonder: is it worth it? Probably not. Like making Nikola Tesla sad, empowering Thomas Edison and Elon Musk, bad lighting for the most part. I'm talking about office buildings, okay? I'm not talking about our cultivated dome of lies. This is such a strange rabbit hole to be down because what you're arguing against is an inesthetic world, which is not itself caused by electricity. Arguably, it's caused by the presence of halogen, which is not the topic of today's debate. Final points? Final points? I know I at least made three good points, so... Final points. Longevity of life. General rays of quality of life. Continued drive and innovation towards stronger methods of capture. The environment. Environment? The environment. The environment. Yeah. I think you're too pro-human. All of our arguments cannot boil down to you don't like people, so things are bad. I beg to differ! Damn it! (laughs) Oh no.